Seventh, we turn to the issue of interrogatives, how questions are marked in the Hebrew language and writing. First, Hebrew might not mark the question grammatically at all. Hebrew may simply have something that appears to be even a declarative sentence, but from the context, you as the reader know that what is being given is a question. Now, this is actually not as strange or frustrating as it may seem. In many languages, we are able to indicate a question merely by changing our tone of voice. I could say in English, he went yesterday, and it sounds declarative. Or I could say, he went yesterday? And merely the tone of my voice, nothing about the words themselves in their form has indicated a question. Likewise in Hebrew, in Job 2.10, Job says, Gam et hatov nekabel me'et ha'elohim ve'et ha'ra lo nekabel. He is asking the rhetorical question, shall we receive good from God and not evil? In Hosea 13.14, we have, Mimavet egalem, shall I redeem them from death? It is a question, but it is not marked so by any particular grammatical feature. In other cases, however, the grammar of the language will explicitly indicate a question. And there are two different ways this may happen. First, via several special interrogative particles, and second, via what we call the interrogative hey. Common interrogative particles in Biblical Hebrew include me, which glosses as who or whom, ma, which glosses as what, the forms a or aye, which gloss as where, and the forms aik or aka, which gloss as how. You will also want to note that ma will often double the following consonant, resulting in a dagish forte. Before a guttural or resh, you might see the vowel on ma change because it cannot double the following consonant, and that vowel could become either a comets or a sigol. Secondly, Hebrew can also explicitly mark a question by prefixing a he to the sentence. This he is called the interrogative he. And depending on the following consonant, the vowel on this interrogative he may change. The usual form is simply h. Huh. For instance, you could have a full sentence in Hebrew, katal, he killed. If I want to say, did he kill? I could simply say, h katal. And this interrogative he has marked a question. Before, secondly, a consonant that has a schwa, or before a guttural, the voweling of the interrogative he will be with a patak. So I could have, again, the Hebrew sentence, Ahmad, he stood. If I want to say, did he stand? I could prefix an interrogative he, and because a guttural follows, I will have ha Ahmad, did he stand? And then thirdly, before a consonant with a comets vowel, the, the interrogative he will take a segol. So I might have the sentence ha ish, the man stood, Ahmad. And if I want to say, did the man stand, I can prefix the interrogative he. Because of this comets, the voweling will become this, he ha ish, Ahmad, did the man stand? 